The president said more girls need to get into the sciences and math. And Jim Axelrod tells us about a program that's leading the way. Five, six, seven, eight, we go. Jump. In, in Cambridge, break, Massachusetts, break, these middle school break, girls break, are learning break, much more than new dance steps. Together. They're learning math from Kieran Sinha, a senior at MIT. Now three A, so one, two. Let's say X is a spin and Y is a little hip hop or something. Uh, a very simple choreography might be three spins followed by a hip hop, so three X plus Y. And then did you get everything else? Well aware of the shortage of women in math and the sciences, Sinha developed a curriculum to reach 12 and 13 year old girls at an age when studies show their confidence drops. It's called Shine which is exactly what it prepares them to do. Once a week after school, the girls go downstairs to dance, then upstairs to put pencil to paper, even markers to glass. When they go upstairs and they have a mental block about, I don't understand how to solve this, this equation, we can say, well, think about what you did at the dance studio downstairs. Reflection over line Y equals X. So it is a process of breaking down concepts that girls can get their arms around. Exactly, more, and more than just get their arms around, actually throw their bodies into and physically do. Students like Katherine Cunningham are tested at the start of each eight-week session and again at the end. Do you think you understand now that it's a question of how things are explained as opposed to the idea itself? Yeah. They explain it really clearly and then they like, make sure and then they do a lot of examples which is good. So what'd you divide both the top and the bottom by? This year, Sinha says, there was a 273 percent improvement in problem solving. Marlene DiGiovanni is all in. I feel like before I would say, oh I don't like math. I just don't like it. But now I'm like, well I don't want to say that I don't like it because it really isn't all that bad. These girls are learning a vital lesson. Don't let anyone box them into any stereotype. And what we really want to teach these girls is that those boxes that they feel that they might be in are completely imaginary. And in the process, they're shattering the idea that girls in math don't add up. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Cambridge, Massachusetts.